Okay, step two is creating the campaign. So simply come to your ads manager and click create campaign. Now, depending on what you're marketing or website or application, this is gonna be a little bit different, but you'll be told what to do. Um, now, get app installs. We're doing application here. Simply take the application link. You'll, you'll actually find this on the document that you've been given. So the link to the um, thing you're marketing will be at the top of the document. And then simply put that in there. It'll say that you're not the admin of this application, but don't worry about that. And put the campaign name in. You can change the, You can choose the name, but we might just call this, you know, I always put the uh, app installs and we can just say, um, you know, February 2016. Put the date in there somewhere. Set audience and budget. Now we've created the lookalike audiences. Now what one thing that you need to do is put the um, the custom audience in there and then we do one campaign per, per lookalike audience. So if we're doing the United States, uh, make sure you choose the right one. So United States here, this is what we just created and then that's what we're, that's what we're marketing to. Now change this to minimum seven um, and then remove the iPods and um, and we just mark it to iPhones for an application. Now this says Australia, remove that. We don't have to put in a country at all. Now depending on what you're marketing, you'll be um, told what to put in here. But you can leave that as is because it's a lookalike audience. So you can see there's 6.2 million people um, that we've got. Now language, you can leave that blank also. Uh, detailed targeting, leave that blank. And then leave the rest as is. Now you'll be told your daily budget also. So um, whether it's $100 or $50 or uh, you'll be told what that, what that is. Now change this to link clicks. And then uh, we often put a manual for an application. We'll put a manual uh, uh, a price there. We don't want to pay any more than you know, say one one Australian dollar or or eighty cents, eighty US cents. But what, you'll be told what to do there. And we leave that as is. Now you can put the name of the ad set. So this could be US USA Feb. 2016 uh, app, choose first app downloads. And now choose ads, choose ads and create. Now you'll be made the admin of the page that uh, you need to be marketing to. And what you need to do also is obviously put the images in there. So First of all, we'll put the text in there, so we'll get this document again. Now you've been given the description here. Put the description in, and then we're gonna do this five image, so multiple, multiple images in one ad. So you need to go and select images. Now you've been given the images here. You go successful campaigns, and then you've got two campaigns here. And what you need to do is obviously upload each of the images. Okay, I've already uploaded mine. So once they're uploaded, you can go to image library. And then what we need to do is simply choose the images. So there's image one, confirm. And then you need to put the description in there for that image. Image two, and put the description in. Image three.
again, put the description. Okay, and then go through that and do four and five, um, and you can put that as install now. Or if it's a website, you can press uh, buy now. And also with a website, you'll have a different link for each image, so they'll take them to a different um, part of the, the site. Okay, so that's all you have to do. We remove, we add, in, we want to mark it on Instagram, but we don't want to mark it on audience network. So we remove that. And for websites, we don't want to mark it to um, the sidebar. So just always just mobile newsfeed, desktop, and Instagram. And then place order. Okay, we need to put all the other images in. So we just put the other ones in. <clears throat> okay, make sure you add your Instagram account. And then plus place order. Okay, and then that, that will go through, be checked, and it'll start marketing.